In this video, you will see how to draw sine wave in PowerPoint. If you are a science student and want to draw a sine wave like this, then what you need to do is first go to the insert tab and under the shapes, first we need to draw the axis. So we will draw axis. Press and hold shift on your keyboard and then draw a line. So it will be a straight line. Now copy paste the straight line and make it horizontal and place the line at the center of the axis. Now go to the insert tab and click on table. Select the size of the table you want and resize the table. Now place this table exactly at the center of the x and y axis intersection here. Now go to the insert tab and this time select the option curve line. Then go to the peak, click, again go to the bottom, click and keep doing this until you finish drawing the sine wave and then press escape on your keyboard. Now you may see that the, the levels are not perfect. So just click on the sine wave, right click and click on edit points. Now you will be able to see this wave, you just have to slightly move the peak and after adjusting the peaks, press escape on your keyboard. Now we can delete this table, just click on the table border and press delete on your keyboard. Now this doesn't look good so we will increase the thickness of these lines. Press and hold shift button on your keyboard and click on all the shapes and lines. Right click on the shape, go to the format object. Under the line, select the option solid line and change the color to black or any color you want. And this width is the thickness, so enter for example 5 points. Now select everything, right click, go to the group option and select the option group. So when you select the diagram, all will be selected and now you can just move it easily. You can also increase or decrease the size of the sine wave according to your need. In this way, you can insert the sine wave in PowerPoint. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, please like and comment below to let me know. And if you are not already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you.